way I'm gonna lose.
Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Um, uh, you, you accidentally deafened Weird. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, damn it. Oh, no. But, it was, uh, Zippo. You might want to check the audit log. But, um, let's huh? see. What's next on the, what's next on the thing? On the, uh, who, what stage are we going to now? Um, because Protag wins, he gets four fans. Does he want to indulge? Possibly. Hmm. Air King, why? <laughs> <laughs> Air King! Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Please, it might have been a it might have been a mistake as far as like the what's it called, but eh. what's it? uh what stage did they pick? Sorry. Oh, Dark Desert. Uh Fly Booster? Fly Booster? <laughs> oh. Um Ooh. Going again with SS Lightning keeping with the supersonic main. <laughs> Interesting. So what are we gonna see from the protagonist? Hmm. Chubb's saying everything is working and he can play. Knuckles Legend versus, uh... A uh, supersonic on sand ruins, not dark desert. I thought it was dark desert. Oh, you pick sand ruins again. Knuckles Legend is actually relatively viable on um, Dark Desert, um, despite some people believing otherwise, simply because if you land the tricks just right, it can be um, almost just as fast as a flight canceling. Yeah. <clears throat> the stage with power type, uh, yeah, like, like Ziffle just said to reiterate, yeah. Legend on the stage? That with early power? attack from Brotag on SS. <laughs> Looks like playing very aggressive from out the gate. Let's we'll see how Lightning recovers, though. I mean, then again. Oh! Ooh. Misses He's the tornado! Ooh. Ooh. Looks like he makes good use of getting out of. Ooh, but he misses the 30 ring box and Lightning gets it. I think. Still, missing that 30 ring box on an air gear is going to hurt considerably. Yes, sir. Um, I don't think, uh. Lightning actually got it either because he should be over 40 rings minimum yeah. otherwise. Interesting. He might have turned a little bit too hard. But now we have these two uh, in the home Racing stretch. Racing for power path, actually. It yeah. seems uh, Lightning is actually foregoing the Coliseum skip for power path. Ooh, and Protag gets that nice level up because uh, Lightning... Did Lightning miss the first round? The no, uh, need to regenerate. no, they immediately regen. Awesome. Well... Let's see. We still have, we have lightning coming back. Uh, so it seems hit. like uh, um, lightning is actually might actually be foregoing. How, uh, this is the oh. thirty again. Oh my Where god, dude! Protag gets it. <laughs> it. I think that might have been a bit of a glitch. Did, did you see where he like spawned after that first like jump in the turbine? That's insane. Oh no! Almost lightning got oh, the no. glitch. Lightning, lightning got the glitch. <laughs> lightning didn't. Oh no! Oh no, Lightning didn't. Is it, didn't did Lightning the get the other glitch to where he oh can't respawn? Oh my god, respond? this is. Okay, so. Oh lightning uh, Lightning got the other glitch to where Hold he on. can't respawn. respawn. He can't, yeah, he cannot respawn. Yo, uh, this this match is. Uh, this might have to be redid. It, th that's it. Lightning can't play. Yeah, lightning can't play. Let's uh, let's let's run that back actually, because that's kind of that uh, that is um yes, that is a soft lock. That is possible. If you lose um, if you fall um the frame where you would be entering a QTE, you will actually be soft lock and you will not be able to respawn. 
it seemed like uh, Lightning actually realized that he got the um, uh, flight path wrong and tried to fly into the um, into the QTE, which is a way to save yourself. But he did it slightly wrong. <laughs> Wait, did he try to fly into the QTE? Really? Yeah. Oh my god. That's what god. he tried to do. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, he didn't get into the Q. Actually, he didn't get in the into the QTE. His messed up gravity caused him to fall into a random direction, and mm. there's no kill plane, so he's just ah. infinite falling. <laughs> he has control. He can spin around. Yeah. That's that's kind of cool, actually, but really jank. <laughs> Don't fly that far. Never. <laughs> oh no! Lightning messes up the start. Looks like it's a nice tornado, but he's But she ranks. Yeah. Ooh, he gets some good wing box. That's nice. Well, uh, will Lightning actually be able to boost into Protec? Maybe. Let's see. Oh, oh my. Oh. Oh. Oh, there it is. There, oh, it, is. there it is. Oh my God. Oh my. Yo. Get... I don't know. I can't tell. No. Oh my God. Lightning. He's dead. Fucking, oh my god. Oh, oh, no. ooh, ooh, that's gonna, aw, oh, lightning, ah. Lightning, no. Um, lightning, if you get that glitch, just kill yourself. There's no point in trying to do otherwise. Just kill yourself. Lightning, no. Uh, that's unfortunate, because he really got the lead, and then, uh... Or especially, at the from that, especially from that lightning gate start, he was doing extremely well. But now Protag is front-running, but... Lightning could still recover if he, you know, performs extremely well in these last two laps. Yeah. But, um, I think, uh, Protag would also have to make a couple mistakes, but then again, he did forego the 30 at the start, um, and only grabbed a 10. Yeah. And he only grabbed a 10 this lap, too. If he could do a couple of boosts in quick succession, Lightning could catch up. Lightning got the 30 and got a boost off. Is he going for the- he's Ooh, going he's for the going, grind rail, just to be safe. Rail. Yeah. He's playing it safe now, he does not want to lose this match. Ooh, but he's catching up really fast, though. Hmm. He's almost up to Protag. This last stretch- Oh, uh, Protag misses the 10 in, um, through the power path. Ooh. But drops a tornado on the um, um, end of the ramp, but I don't think that's going to be much, because I think it's gonna- Yeah, it despawned before Lightning could even get there. Yep. Level one Only, uh, oof, got Ooh. error from the item boxes, bad, um, bad RNG there. Um, ah. Protag actually gets a 20 this time, pushing him to level 3. Ooh, yep. He got but... level 3 after the first ramp on that lap. Oh, oh. my god. Lightning's gonna go for flight path again, hopefully to try to catch up. Um, it seems like he got it right. Yep. yep. There you go. Protag is in the last final stretch. Um, on a quick note, if you want to actually avoid that, um, flight glitch, pro tag BMing. BM antagonist? Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my dude, 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 tornado! Oh my god! He fucking tornado the fucking tornado power path! Oh my god! Level three. <laughs> dude, that's some villain, that is absolute villainy! Oh my god, dude, that is... Yeah. <laughs> oh my god! This guy is brutal, bro. That is absolutely maniacal. Lightning probably would have had more of a chance if he knew um, one small tech you can do to avoid uh, that glitch in um, Dark Desert. If you yeah. actually jump at the end of the fly um, ramp and uh, land back onto the middle slash end of the uh, fly ramp, you um, will never actually have that glitch occur. Yeah. Um, one thing also is that... Uh... The RNG kind of screwed him over a few times, but yeah. he also he, needed uh, some more... He, his, his performance as far as ring collecting, uh, if he was just a little bit better, he would have probably had enough to boost a few more times before, the lap, before that race ended, but... Uh, hey, what's going on? Nevertheless, that was a great match from the both of you. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. I think we both made some massive mistakes. Yeah. I feel like we could have played a lot better. But he was um, really stubborn about doing the fly route. Like, honestly, he should have just... <laughs> he should have just, like, took the rail. Honestly, time. if he didn't 
the flight the flight skip for the Colosseum skip? I think he may have. Well, uh, I'm not sure. Yeah, you could also. Uh, there's, there's a bunch of there's a, there's shoulda woulda coulda. There's so many things that he could have done to optimize his play, despite that unfortunate, uh, you know, unfortunately getting the the death uh, version, like where it shuts off collision. But um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, we both played pretty anoptically, I would say, for how our power levels are actually supposed to be. Uh, yeah. yeah. But hopefully he'll come back. Uh, through losers, and we'll, we'll, we'll face each other again. I actually tried giving some constructive criticism on how to avoid that glitch happening in the first place. Yep. Yeah. Um, because um, it doesn't seem to be too well known that if you jump at the base of the fly ring and land um, towards the middle slash top of the uh, fly ring, you will never actually have that glitch occur. Because it actually um, only occurs when moving at exceptionally high speeds, so if you jump to slow yourself down a little or bit. Or you can let go of your analog stick and hit L or R to break slight and just break for a quick second. Yeah. To slow down. Which is probably faster than jumping. Hmm. Um, I, I just prefer jumping because it also uh, progresses me forward slightly, kind of like uh, the quick jump at the uh, top of an uh, incline to reset my boost, as well as push me onto the very top. <laughs> so let me look at some of the commentary. You guys, every time I pop off, you guys need to clip my pop off, man. <laughs> <laughs> Twi uh, uh, Twitch, Twitch people, Twitch uh, audience, you gotta start clipping these things, man. Uh, honestly, I would, um, it's because of that glitch why I actually don't like Dark Desert that much anymore. I understand that it's annoying that you should have to learn a tech just to avoid a problem that shouldn't even exist. <laughs> because even in vanilla, that problem is still very much it's, possible to have happen. It's a really good skip, though, and it's like... Honestly, if he got it all three times, like, I would have no fucking chance, so it's kind of like do it at your own risk. Yeah. Well, yeah. regardless of if you take the skip or not, and that happens to you, you'll still die. If you don't take the skip and you go to the proper fly area and that thing happened to you, you'll still clip through the floor. Yep. Um, the, uh, um, as, as stated before, there are two things you can do. One is extremely unoptimal to do, though. One, just immediately drop and kill yourself as soon as possible if you see it happen. That's the optimal thing. The other thing you could do is try to fly all the way inside of the QTE. Which loses you a lot of time, actually. You could also just not do the skip. <laughs> the glitch yeah. is actually really avoidable, though. It's just about knowing or timing the uh, when you know that the collision is going to load in. The, the flight skips, I mean. But yeah. So, what do we have next on our tournament ad agenda? We have Salty versus Shigyu. Salty. Get in here, bud. <laughs> As we know, Salty is... I would say he's a pretty pretty good player from NA. And yeah. uh, definitely a, a villain in the community. Uh, really, <laughs> really does not like... Supersonic. supersonic players and Shigyu <laughs> has been playing supersonic almost this entire term uh tournament so yeah. uh salty is uh, I can, uh, uh I can, uh, <laughs> <laughs> this ain't gonna be pretty <laughs> salty eat supersonic mainers like it's fucking break i mean like it's breakfast bro right, i mean uh i i like some good old soup in the morning know what i'm saying <laughs> some good old salt in the morning you know what I'm saying? Uh, I mean salt and soup don't go well together a lot of the time <laughs> I don't know I like uh, I like the soup with the but anyway we got these two on their first on their like not their first match their test lap actually Ooh. yeah get a handle on that nice old ping This isn't completely accurate, but sometimes a test lap is a really good, uh, really good way to kind of get a feel for how, um, 
how players are going to play during their matches. So you can kind of make predictions based off the tablet, their test labs, but not all the time. A lot of people well, actually intentionally play very badly just to throw off their opponent. Yeah, that's, a, that's definitely a thing as well. Yeah. I mean, yeah, but they are playing Sonic on default gear, so I don't know. I mean, most people. Oh don't. no, no, no! Of course, but you can still tell certain things like their place, how there. how well they can drift, sure. yeah. their boost intervals. Uh, the you can basically other... tell what you're up against, but I don't know if you can like learn the opponent's habits through test lap. I don't think so. Uh, well, not, not not all exactly, of them, but some. But, uh, but you could uh, you could actually see like a couple things. You can depending on if they are intentionally just kind of like doing whatever <laughs> uh what is chubb saying to me oh the textures of that are being displayed uh on these streams will be will be available during the uh the next release of the texture pack the 2.0 so look forward to that everyone Ludiolo called Salty the low tier god of Sonic Riders. Wow. Yeah, they're just uh, they're just figuring out their their pad buffer right now. So bear with us. Goomba Fang says that he wants to learn Eggman on Super Hangar on Metal City. Um, do you think you'd be able to help him with that? <laughs> uh, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> you villain! Oh, we got a hundred viewers flat. Thanks for coming out, guys. Uh, and then you immediately lost one. <laughs> oh. <laughs> one! <laughs> one! But, um... The... I, I just answered, the, uh, the texture pack... They're... The, the textures they're using right now... Some of them are available in texture pack 1.0, but not all of them. I'm sorry, who is Leffen? Leffen is the villain of the Smash Melee community. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh. Leffen, Sol Salty is actually a lot like Leffen, except uh, <laughs> when Leffen wasn't good. <laughs> no offense, Salty. But you're not, you're not quite at that level yet. No, no, I'd say he's You see, the thing cool. about being a villain in a competitive game community is that if you're not good, you look like a clown after, like, talking so much shit. But if you're good, you're effectively, you know, you're that tension builder of the community. You're going to drive ratings up whenever you come to a tournament or an event. Like, this is like, like, it's it's good to be that, I guess. Uh, it's definitely not a bad thing. I mean, I mean you're because, a villain, Protag. Because, <laughs> because at the end of the day, like, sure, this is... This is like a competition, but like we want to make it theater out of this, you know? Because like you know the game Sonic Riders, right? It's about Jet talking shit to Sonic, and Sonic knows that he can whip Jet's ass in a foot race, <laughs> in a fight, probably. But he's just not content with himself that he's that Jet just happens to be good on specifically on Extreme Gear, you know? <laughs> it's just it's not enough for him. That's why Sonic gets in the car and 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 plays fair because beating people on foot is not it's not the end all be all he wants to beat you at his own at your own game he wants to make you feel like garbage <laughs> <laughs> and then pick you right back yeah. up and say hey try better next time exactly and jet's not a bad guy you know when jet says you know those are pretty good moves but you have to be one with the wind and you should probably just kiss the ground and go home because you have no chance. He's not saying that. He's not saying that to necessarily piss Sonic off. He's he's encouraging him. He's egging him on. You know, <laughs> like a true rival. Oh, we got a raid from Lance Video Games 13, raiding with Party of Two. Thank you. Awesome raid. I saw you like egging <laughs> on because he's a bird. <laughs> Is definitely an underrated character. For sure. I hope they f uh, figure out a comfortable ping all level soon. He's the only character that attacks Sonic's ego. Um, Shadow says hello. I mean, 
Yeah. LTG? Yeah, the low tier god. Yeah, they're still test lapping. Um, I'm telling them to to cut it out <laughs> because they gotta. <laughs> this is like their yeah. third. This is like their third race or something like that. Like they gotta. Come on, guys! You gotta show us what true speed really is. Yeah, they're starting to abuse <laughs> the system of te of uh of test lapping. While we're waiting on them. Yes, the ball and chain was removed. Actually, it was converted into giving you a 30 air, I believe. Yeah, 30 air. Chubbs is ready. course that I want to see Salty telling supersonic flares. Aren't you supposed to be the fastest thing alive? King, what a joke. <laughs> Let's see. Well, Palladium, you will get exactly what you've come for. A race. Not just a race. Right, here we race. are. Salty this going on, uh, they, they actually love, uh, SNG, which is a new character. In, uh, in our mod, basically, ooh, nice, nice starting attack. E10G is the typeless character, and you might say, oh, well, he has no type, he must be garbage. No, not exactly. Uh, in exchange, E10G is the fastest character in the game. So when using a gear with high cruising speed, you're an absolute monster. But of course, you don't have a type, so you can't use type shortcuts. Although that doesn't matter that much on White Cave, simply because um, most uh, shortcuts on White Cave are actually kind of weird. Yeah. Almost um, salty actually having pretty good ring pickup, not gonna lie. Yeah. yeah. Especially E10G is gonna thrive once um gets once salty three. gets yeah, once salty gets level three. I think uh Salty is actually currently cruising much faster than um uh Shigu's boost speed. Oh yeah. Two hundred to <laughs> two thirty something. Oh, and now we're blasting away at about at 260 three. every time you hit a dash panel. Yeah. Ooh, almost missed the gravity pull on that vine skip. That could have been disastrous yeah. for Salty, because it could have just rocketed into the other direction. That was a little bit too close for comfort. But we got another boost in the tank. We're probably going to see another boost. No, okay, Ooh. Salty playing it safe. Once it she was getting that level 3, though. Hopefully he could be able to stop uh, Salty's front running, but maybe not. We'll have to see. Uh, um, at the time that uh, Shigu reaches level 3, so now, uh, Faster's early advantage is more or less over. Ooh! You know what? Salty's doing a really good tech where since he's cruising above a certain threshold, he's not boosting. And he's doing, and he's saving a bunch of air by doing that. That is really smart. Mm-hmm. And Salty's consistency on this uh, YK Vine skip is really, really pulling ahead. Yeah. Apparently, according to Air King, the white, it's not even a skip because it's apparently intended. Yeah, I believe so. I believe that. You think so? Yeah. Hmm. yeah. Um, I mean, because how else to, do you get on the uh, onto that vine? A similar, well, yeah, of course. And a, and a similar thing uh, happens on Green Cave as well. But yeah, we're gonna have Salty closing out the game, taking first place. Uh, but Shigu only a second behind. Both uh, yeah. both players showing great performance, actually. Salty is using faster Shivas. Forgot to mention the other, the other uh, crazy buff that E10G has is that E10G is neither a uh, an early boost nor a late boost because E10G has 60 frames of extra boost duration at every level, so. When it comes yep. to stats, pretty overpowered in that, uh, yeah, it's really not having a type that really restricts, um, E10G from being the best character. Uh, still, E10G is very strong regardless. Yes. In their own e unique is way. great, but on some stages, he's not optimal just on the strength that he has no typing. So he's not busted by any means. Yeah. 
Though you can somewhat mitigate this by playing gears that grant type, like you could play like access E10G. But, uh, that's yes, pretty, but that's... at most of the time, you're better off picking a typed character with a better um, with a better gear. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> um, a uh, jet um legend duo, um, uh, on Red Canyon. Here we go. Best track in the game. <laughs> I like it's Red Canyon. <laughs> Alright, so this is a pretty standard uh, ditto. It most seems like Salty going for the sewer start line strat most of the time. Hmm. Yeah. Alright, both gonna get top path. Charging jump on Legend though and ends up getting bottom path and a C rank because of that from Salty. Wow. Not Ooh, the Salty. best execution. <laughs> uh, there is no Salty. execution with Legend. <laughs> Luckily, gets that really lucky 20. Yeah. But. <laughs> This is already... But, um, Shigu's already level 2 because of reaching top path. And again, they're both charging the legend, making sure that they don't miss. Oh, wow, he oh, messes oh, up! Oh, misses the skip! Get this box so that you level up. Oh, misses the box! Oh my god! This is not good. Well, actually, it's not too bad because he's kind of right... Stop! No, uh, stop. No, Salty is continuously charging jump on legend. By the, time, by the time they get to the, um, yeah, see, Salty's out of the range of Turbulence. This is really bad. Yeah. This might spell and Doom now, and Doom. And now, um, uh, Shigu is level 3. Ooh, Shigu's got level 3. He's gonna proceed to front run. Although, Salty actually gets top path and levels up as well. Yeah, so he still might have a chance, but... Just wait and see. Shigu going for, uh, Grant. Oh, he misses, he misses the skip! The skip again! <laughs> This could be Salty's chance to pull ahead. Yeah, this is literally his opportunity to to, to bank off the mistake. Oh, here we oh, go. Oh, He's oh, back oh. in it. Now He's Salty, it. a little bit behind in the range of turbulence. Now is going to be able to probably overtake. Wow, he runs out of air. Ooh, Shigu really oh, dangerous. Oh my um, god. Shigu, oh, oh my doesn't god. hit the collision properly. Shigu on turbulence. Wow, he oh got his level three tornado. That was amazing reaction time. Yes, that was fucking. And this is this type of lag. Uh, I can tell is not. It's game lag. It's not internet lag. So one yeah. of their games are lagging. Probably gotta turn down some settings. Yeah, they probably gotta fix some graphic settings. But yo, Salty and Shigu. Oh my God, bro. Yeah. Especially with Shigu with that dodge just a moment ago. That was fucking. Oh my. Oh, God. Uh, Salty gonna take Shigu this? actually takes the um, skip really sharp. Salty with an amazing comeback, but will Shigu be able to- Ah, uh, it's very unlikely. Yeah, yes. That's, that's gonna, gonna be it. Oh, oh, oh my god, Salty. With the, the last minute tornado slightly BMing uh, Shigu over there, and he's gonna close it out. Oh my god. Missing that skip cost Shigu the race. Uh, Salty actually did come back really hard after that yeah. um, initial lap, though. That was an absolutely splendid comeback, for sure. Oh my god, bro. You know what's so crazy, though? Uh, he had a really, like, a, a bit of a weak start going in, but he managed to pull through. That's pretty amazing. Mm. Definitely a great player. Great plays from Salty, and great plays definitely from Shigu, too. Because, uh, he went down swinging. Alright. Uh, what about Tornado Dodge? Talk he said, can we talk about the Tornado Dodge, though? Yeah, that was that. <laughs> yeah, that, that was that was really good reaction time. <laughs> Honestly, it didn't. That was so fast that might have not been reaction time. It might have been a read that he knew that Salty was gonna put down that tornado at that exact time. Possibly, yeah. Yeah, possibly. That reaction time was almost too good. We kind of have to watch that again. Somebody can clip that. Be much uh, he was far enough away to actually be able to react to it. Like, I could... Um, they have an I, I, play lag? It looks really tight, yeah. man. I don't yeah. know. <laughs> I think he read him. <laughs> I'll try to see if I can... I think he saw into the future. <laughs> oh, wait. It's still clippable. I got it. If I... Yeah, there's also an audible cue. But, uh, um... Oh no, it's not clippable, damn. There is an audible cue, and uh, n naturally, uh, audio reaction time is much faster than, well not much faster, but like marginally faster than visual reaction time, yeah. but 
you still have to hear it, realize that it's a tornado, your brain has to process that, and then like, click the buttons and die, I don't know. I feel like he knew in advance that it was gonna happen at that time. He was prepared for it, most likely. Yeah. So, um, let's see who we got on the, on the table today. Or, for next match, I mean. Have these two beginning their test laps. All right. They're both taking Sonic Blue Star to Metal City. That seems to be the base uh, test lap. We have C Gamer and Zway the no. Zway. Uh, Zway um messing up the start line. Ooh, that's gonna. <laughs> but then again, this is only a test lap at the same of time. Course. Yeah, I mean, these two players are relatively newer to the community, so not too much is known aside from uh, maybe a few perform their performances in last bracket. Um, Zway, I remember, made it pretty far for one of the uh, newcomers, if I believe. Yeah, Zway made it oh. to winner's round three, yep. and Sea uh, Gamer was defeated by Sakayan. In winners round three, so they both went down in winners round three. Another fighting in the depths of losers. <laughs> so, all right, that ends the see. test lab. Let's go. Sinfin said Zway with the fight stick. This man is playing uh, on fight stick. Zway says feels great. See gamer oh, and stuff. Pro, they pro, playing on Zway or Zway. All right, pro tag. Uh, Chubb says he's ready. He he uh, he would like to go soon. Okay. <laughs> we can do that match next if, uh, if everyone's comfortable. Alright. Let's see what we got. <laughs> Let me actually call the next few matches. Thank you. You sure? Alrighty then. Um, if I recall, C Gamer was on um, stream versus uh, Sakayan and put up a decent fight. Zway, I don't think any of Zway's matches have been on stream yet. Hmm. Oh, I'm a no, Zway has been on stream uh, yesterday. Yeah, I remember at least, oh. maybe at least once or twice. Yeah. We um, actually had a post game interview. Oh. Yeah. I must have missed that. That's where we oh, learned that he played on Fight Stick. Oh. I'm sorry. Awesome. We have uh, Palladium, or Palladium, however you say his name, playing, uh, I mean, putting cool art in the Discord. Okay, we have two storms on. Oh, yeah, it's white versus Storm default versus Storm auto slider. The clap! The clap! Clapped! Starting off the game with a bang. Yeah. Auto slider is also really strong on digital dimension, but foregoing the skip, both of them. Yeah. C gamer playing my main on digital dimension, missing the skip. Well, they collected a lot of rings in the meantime, so good yeah. stuff on them. They're actually ready to level uh, up. Uh, next box. He misses. Oh, but he misses the box. box. That's no. unfortunate. They both but because of the turbulence, uh, their opponent misses a box too, which is actually kind of, kind of neat. Let's see. Yeah, those dash panels make that uphill a lot. Wow, harder. no turbulence is going to be made there. Tries to takes the power four. path. Oh, oh my god, to air he out. trips up. That's he trips mm -hmm. up, slamming into the wall, and airs out. <laughs> Really bad turn of events. Gonna get just enough air to charge a jump, but misses the jump charge. Oh, and he's gonna get, get grabbed to the, the Shadow Realm. Oh, no. 
and you have uh, oh Seagamer from that's, running with the, with the auto slider. That's where the dark chows go when they're naughty. I mean, what? <laughs> uh -huh.
Tea.